the daughter abused by her own mother, that daughter then convicted in her mother's murder. Tonight here, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is now out of prison. Today, Gypsy Rose Blanchard shared this photo with a caption, quote, first selfie of freedom. Gypsy Rose Blanchard's story is a true crime phenomenon. You've got murder, deception, and romance. And now the woman behind the headlines is out of prison and grabbing attention in a new way. Hey everyone, this is Gypsy. I'm finally free. Nearly 20 million followers and counting on social media. Paparazzi following her every move. Do you have any plans? Lots of. Major magazine cover and all kinds of TV appearances. Gypsy has agreed to sit down with me for her first TV interview just days after her release. What do you want people to know most about the Gypsy who's sitting here right now? I think don't judge me because you haven't walked a mile in my shoes. Before so many became captivated by Gypsy, this strange and twisted story had a different kind of obsession. She was like one of the happiest people I had ever met, and yet she was the most sick that I had ever met at the same time. Gypsy and her multiple um, illnesses and uh, diseases. Uh, she had muscular dystrophy, leukemia. She had learning disabilities, had not been able to be out of a wheelchair. <laughs> I think everybody <laughs> felt so much for Gypsy, this poor girl who has so many things wrong with her and this wonderful mother who does everything for Gypsy. Dee Dee was a very protective, but like kind and gentle mother. You could tell that they were there for each other and like they were very attached at the hip. Dee Dee is a local pageant queen from Lafouche Parish, Louisiana. She worked as a nurse's aide. At age 23, she met 17-year-old Rod Blanchard. She was real nice, Southern. She knew how to cook. She seemed like a really nice, you know, sweet, genuine young lady. Just three months into their relationship, Dee Dee discovers she's pregnant. Parents raised me, that's, that's the right thing to do, so I didn't even question, I just said, wow, you're pregnant, really? I guess we're gonna get married, you know? The newlyweds soon welcome a baby girl. Perfectly healthy, pretty little baby, named her Gypsy Rose. I was excited and very scared. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. I'm 18 years old and I, I got a baby here, so. I see you. You wanna blow me a kiss? Nothing wrong with her. She looked perfect. Go bring me a flower. Hey. You can bring me a flower. Hey, Gypsy. Rod and Dee Dee eventually split up. She takes primary custody of Gypsy, and Rod soon remarries a woman named Christy. So it took her a little while to warm back up to Rod. Finally got to go visit and everything with them, and it not be odd. I think uh, we had some good visits, some good times. <laughs> Gypsy was probably seven, eight years old. Dee Dee was saying that she was sick, problems sleeping, epilepsy, and it just progressed from there. Leukemia, paralyzed muscular dystrophy, and she would have seizures. She's in a wheelchair now, she needs a feeding tube. I told Dee Dee she was the best mother. There's no way I can do what you're doing. You have a sick child, you, it's constantly 24 seven taking care of her and everything. I mean, I always praised her and told her, good job. In 2005, Gypsy and Dee Dee were dealt another cruel blow. Katrina came and, and wiped them out, you know, wiped uh, so many people out. Emergency authorities are now driving through the city where they're picking up families in boats. I had it on the screen on TV, you know, looking for them, you know, trying to find them, because we didn't know where they were. 
when the hurricane occurred, they went to a special needs shelter um, in northern uh, New Orleans and remained there. And that's where the uh, Mercy Hospital folks here in Springfield that ultimately flew them up here after the hurricane. Well, I'm the Greene County Sheriff in the city of Springfield. This is known as the Bible Belt, and we have lots of churches. This town is a very giving town. Here you have a, a mother and a disabled child in a wheelchair that can't walk with no means of paying for anything. So this community does what it does best and provided everything that they could think of. After they relocate to Springfield, Dee Dee and Gypsy strike up an instant bond with hospital employees Marcia Smith and Laura Nixdor. This one says, Happy Mother's Day, Nona. We love you so much. She called me Nona, which is grandmother in Italian, and I felt like I was her grandmother. Eventually, Dee Dee and Gypsy find a place to call home. It's at the intersection of Hope Road and Volunteer Way. The Blanchards moved into that house built by Habitat for Humanity. A wheelchair ramp was built just for her. It is the perfect town, the perfect place. I think it was, it was a blessing in disguise. It took something like a hurricane to make us have a happy ending. They were just really nice, great people, and everybody just was really excited to be around them. The community really embraced them got them a house, and it wasn't just a house. There were trips, there were Disney trips. Make a wish, we're taking her down to Orlando. All expenses paid and everything. Right now, I'm in Cinderella's castle, eating some royal mashed potatoes. In between hospital visits, Gypsy is hitting the charity circuit, and she's rubbing elbows with all kinds of celebrities. Miranda Lambert yes. came to Springfield a few times, and I think she gave Dee Dee and Gypsy money. There were fundraisers. They were brought in to speak and for Gypsy to sing at Relay for Lives. local darlings. I mean, they were the shining star in this town of people who can outlast adversity and get through everything. Dee Dee and Gypsy rebuild their lives and find a community in Springfield. But everything is about to change. And it all begins with one shocking Facebook post. It said the bitch is dead. What is going on? It starts out as a strange Facebook message. And just when you thought you could figure out what was happening, something else comes to light. 